Shalom, like to say all praise due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick video um, response, you know, because I've seen a video on uh, Instagram this morning and uh, it was in regard, it was in regards to President, former President. Uh, he's a Democratic Republican. Uh, his name's uh, Obama, and he was uh, he had a little speech, all right. And um, I'm gonna just play, and then um, we we're gonna dissect certain things because uh, we're in the time of uh, of of a persecution, you know, and they're using this thing with. Uh, Kyrie Irving, you know, Kanye West, you know, um, you know, to come against, you know, our people, you know, who uh, know that they're Israelites and, you know, basically, um, that they're go it's going to be, a, you know, that they're going to pass a law, you know, and they're going to, it's going to be a, uh, you know, like you won't be able to go out on the highways and byways and all that. And that's why they're starting with this whole uh, social credit score. You know, it's already happening in China, right? Over 20 odd, some odd years. But it's uh, going to come here. You know, and um, there's nothing new under the sun. All right, when you read about the Maccabean family, you know, uh, and... You know the persecution that we were suffering as a people you know during the maccabean time you know during the during the greeks right, the greco-roman empire you know the persecution that we were suffering you, you, like you could read about it you know the, like the book of maccabees you know maccabees one that whole you know maccabees one and two goes into uh the history of the persecution man you know, because uh, they Hellenized our people for the most part. And that's why the Maccabeans, they, uh, you know, like they, you know, like they stood up, you know. But I'm um, going to just play this quick. But here's what's clear, Pittsburgh. This habit we've ha we have of, of demonizing political opponents, of saying crazy stuff, it creates a dangerous climate. And, and when you have people who are in leadership positions who promote or ignore over-the-top rhetoric, and then when there's an attack like this, they make light of it, they joke about it. Then more people are going to get hurt. And more than that, we violate the basic spirit of our democracy. The spirit of who we are as Americans. And by the way, it's not just politicians. Whether it's out of malice or ignorance, we've seen recently big celebrities reposting vile anti-Semitic conspiracy theories online. And, and, and... You don't have to be a student of history to understand how dangerous that is and how unacceptable it is. And, and, and I, I don't know when we decided that we were just going to believe everything we read on the Internet. Here's, here's a tip for you. If you read or see something online that has some grand theory about how some particular group, whether it's black folks or white folks or Jews or Catholics or immigrants or gays, if you read and, or see something that says they're the cause of all your problems, then it's safe to say it is garbage. It is a lie. It is dangerous poison. We've got to call it out and put an end to that kind of mindset.
Yeah, so the persecution is coming, you know, because they don't want our people to uh, wake up to who they are, you know. So, um, you know, so they're against, you know, the Israelites, you know. Psalms 83 and 1, all right. They have made confederate, you know, against our people, you know. You know, all these different nations, right? The United Nations, you know, the prison industrial complex and music industry, you know, who runs all these things, man? Like, who's at the head? All right, Job nine twenty four, the earth's given into the hand of the wicked, right? So, um, you know, so they're gonna demonize us, and um, you know, like that's why Amos uh, eight and eleven. Um, it says the famine of the word, you know, that there, there's going to be a famine of the word, you know, you, you won't be able to go on the internet, you won't find us on the highways and byways to, to prophesy and warn, but, um, this is, uh, this is just a quick, uh, kind of, I woke up this morning, I saw it, uh, this is, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 1. This is a whole this whole chapter is uh is 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 prophetic. Alright. And this is Jeremiah, he was a prophet during the Babylonian Empire. Alright, and um he was war he was basically uh everything that you know Job uh, I mean Jeremiah thirty two of him going into uh, I'm going to just read it. So the words that come to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Thus, saith, thus speaking the Lord power, thus speaketh the Lord power of Israel, saying, Write all these words that I have spoken unto you, uh, unto thee in a book. All right. For lo, the days come saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel, so the northern kingdom, all right, because, you know, um, 722 BC, all right, when uh, the Syrian empire fell, uh, when you read the second Ezra's uh, 13, verse 40, it goes into that, all right, when, um, uh, pretty much our people were in the Syrian captivity and they came over, you know, like to the new world. Our Asherif, our new land. All right. And uh, our people came over to, uh, you know, South, you know, the Caribbean, Central America, North America. And they uh, inhabited. You could read that. I didn't want to go all in depth but um you know so um so it shows you that you know that um that these things that jeremiah wrote you know is gonna come to pass all right though it uh it tarry wait for it so we're we're waiting for this for this um You know that we're that we're waiting for this prophecy, you know, to come to pass. You know, and um, my my mom, you know, she had a vision this morning, and then uh, I woke up, um, woke up like around seven, you know, and then uh, I was woken up, and then uh, my mom told me, you know, she had a vision that um, basically there was like a ship. It wasn't a ship that like we're going to the airport. You know, but it was a very foggy day, and uh, pretty much that um, you know that we're gonna like basically um, like board a plane, you know, and um, and there was a couple people, you know, that like there was many people who was dressed in white, you know, and um, you know, and then my mom she told me basically. Um, I was like, 
because we're basically at like a it was like an airport but it wasn't an airport i i feel that um that that vision that my mom had you know was a like a, a ship you know because all the men you know because all the because um you know he was dressed in white you know all the you know all the people were in white it was a short dream short vision but my mom she would normally would um always get these type of visions you know you know because we're in that time man uh revelation one and six and half made unto that's where I read the verse seven. Behold, with clouds, and every eye shall see him. All right, and they also which pierced him. All right, so you know the two Roman centurions. You know, I'm sure that they're in the military. You know, these are probably high-ranking members of the military. You know, w whether it's American or what, you know. I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh, I'm sure you know that like these people, you know, they're probably uh, guys who uh, who are high-ranking members of uh, the United States Army or who or you know. And uh, the Lord's gonna. He's gonna, uh, you know, he's gonna judge those, you know, who who uh, who pierced him, man. Who afflicted pain, you know. You're gonna judge those two uh, Roman centurions, man. And they also which pierced him, and the king of the earth shall wail because of him. You know. When the clouds, you know, that's the UFOs. You know, when you go into. Um, you know the clouds. You know when you go into uh, like the Exodus. You know the the fi the fire by day, the cloud by night. No, the fire the fire by. Uh, sorry, like the cloud by day and then the fire by night. You know, and uh, that was a you know a very uh, prophetic type dream that my mom had. You know, she kind of told me, I'm like, oh, yeah. So, um, Lord will, man, that, you know, because we see that we're in the time of, uh, we're approaching, you know, the hour of temptation and the uh, time of Jacob's trouble, man. And uh, so we got to stay uh, rooted, you know, be uh, steadfast. Oh, because uh, you know the devil's coming down with great wrath, knowing that he 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 have for a short time. So with that, let us say our praise due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, the ones of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and bless the whole for members of the elect. Shalom.